Alright guys, welcome to the first level of Tomb Raider 3. This level is called Jungle. And, um... This is one of my favorite Tomb Raider games. Tomb Raider 3 is more difficult than its predecessors. And the levels are longer and, and more complicated, especially with the enemies. But, uh, it's still a very fun, enjoyable game. So there's a slope down here that we want to slide down. But, um... We want to be careful not to slide too far, because before we slide, there's a, a slope tile in the tree, which is going to be where our first secret is, so we do a standing jump there. There's going to be some Uzi clips. Oh, there they are. Now I'm going to slide down. There's going to be some spikes that I have to look out for. If I'm on this tile, Laura should land right there where the spikes hurt her just a little bit when she landed there but nothing too significant so now what I want to do is jump over the spikes and veer to the left there's gonna be some shotgun shells here and there is a large med pack there but I want to be careful because immediately when I step on the tile in front of me I'm gonna trigger a boulder so I want to jump back to avoid it Now, I could slide down the rest of the way, but if I did that, I would miss a secret. So, what I want to do is go up to this big tree, jump over this part, land here. This is where I get secret number two. So, I get credit right here as soon as it chimes, but the collectible, which is shotgun shells, is over here. There is a safe... well, in case you're wondering what this is, this is a health crystal. And at least in the PC versions, uh, Tomb Raider 3 is the first game to have those. Tomb in Tomb Raiders 1 and 2, you actually had to use your med kits. Now you have to be really careful because there is a set of spikes over here. And if Laura falls on those, it will be fatal. So... What we would want to do is uh, position her correctly, back up and do a running jump forward, land there. We did just a little bit of health damage, but nothing too bad. So now we can see there's this room here with a bunch of trees, and then there's this way over here, there's quicksand. So there's another health crystal in case we get hurt. So what I can do now is come this way. And then come up here, there's some waterfalls. If I go behind the waterfalls, like, if you see where the flares are, that's secret number three. Looks like we already got credit for it, but uh, and we want to still pick up the items. There's some flares here. I think there's even more things once we go past the... Well, we can't go past the waterfall, but... At least not in that one. Let's see what else we can get. Oh. Now there's some shotgun shells here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a tree right above me. I guess we can't jump to that. Now over here, I'm going to show you guys a secret. And this is a secret to get to the end of the level. I'm going to save my game here because uh, I'm still going to go ahead and play through the level the way they want. But I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Alright, so I did the jump successfully, 
So now what I want to do is look this way. There's going to be some ledges here that we can go along. There's quicksand down there, so we want to make sure we don't fall down. We want to jump to these uh, hanging hanging leaves that are on the side of that, or I guess that's part of the tree. So, we look over here, and we can see there's like a temple of some sort in front of us. There is a key that we need in order to finish the level. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump over here. And then come up here to get the key. There is a monkey that's going to try to beat you to the key. And if he's able to beat you to it, you're going to have to kill him in order to get the key. Which is going to suck, because I really don't like killing monkeys. Sorry, monkey, you don't get to have my key today. So after we get that... We can then look down. I'm so then we're going to drop down into this pool. And there is a tiger that spawns, so we're going to have to take care of him as quick as possible. And these tigers are tough and ferocious. They are more they are tougher than the ones in Tomb Raider 2, and they can really rip you apart in this game, much more so than in the last one. Okay, we took care of him. We'll get that later. I'm gonna head over to the end of the level now. So this is where we came up and got the key, that monkey wants our key. And where we use the key is over there, and that's the end of the level. So I'm gonna jump down, there's another tiger that spawns. I think if we come over here, maybe he can't. He can't get to us. That was a little bit of a glitch. And this is where we use the key. We go through the door, that's the end of the level. see this yet. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to reload because I want to do the level properly. Alright guys, I'm back before I tried to do the secret. So I think as of right now, I should have three secrets down so far. Perfect. So now I'm going to go back to the other room. Or other area, whatever you want to call it. That's quicksand. We won't be able to get through that without Laura losing her life. Unless you've got a bunch of cheat codes you want to use. But uh, Laura's air gauge decreases really rapidly when she's under quicksand. Much more so than when she's swimming through water. So, we can then see there's an area down here. There are monkeys down here, but they're nice and won't attack you. You could kill them if you're going through, going for kills. Look, see, that monkey stole my med pack. But I'm not going to hurt him for it. Oh, look, he brought it here. Oh, and the monkey was kind of helpful. He led me to a switch. So all is forgiven for him stealing my med pack. And that switch is going to open up a door that's 
uh, in the area over the tree. Now, we could go in the water, but there is a current that's going to suck you away. So, it's probably best you not do that for now. Or actually, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And I think I will go in there. Alright, so I will go ahead and go through the water because there is something I can try to pick up. If we look in the water... There a, is a small med pack there that we can get. And then if we keep swimming, there is a secret passageway for us to get out. It's right here. Now, the blue meter in the top right corner, that's Laura's air gauge. And they give you a somewhat generous amount of time for Laura to swim underwater, but you do not want to mess around. So, it's best that we get Laura to air as soon as possible. This is our way out. It's going to lead us back to where we were. As you can see, when we get out, we're like... Right here. We go this way, and then... That right there is the door that we just opened. So, we come this way. There is a spike trap in this room. Right there is the spiky wall. I don't know if you guys can see the spikes come out. But, um, once we pull the switch, we're going to trigger the spike wall to close in on us. So, I can pull it, roll, run, and then Laura has enough time to climb out before she gets impaled. And once the spike wall is moved, then Laura can come out this way. Um, there is a zip line that this leads her to. And she can take the zip line to get to the next area. Or there's like a tree trunk out there. And she can land here. Now, actually, I'm going to save the game because when I jump into that next room, or go behind that tree, there is a tiger that's going to spawn. So I'm going to save the game because he can be quite ferocious, and the tigers in this game are tough. They can rip you apart, they can do a lot of damage, and they can really kill you quicker than the ones in Tomb Raider 2 could. So I think I'm going to use a shotgun for this guy. He should spawn right here. There. It took three shots to kill the tiger. And I think it, it takes three in this game, whereas in one and two it would... It would take two shots. Or at least in close range it would. So we see we're kind of in the deep, darker part of the woods, I guess. We come over here, there's a small med pack. There are some monkeys over here, but they're harmless. They're, they won't attack you unless you attack them. Oh, hi, little monkey. Yeah, you want to be friends? Well, I'd love to stay and play with you, but I got work to do, so I'm going to get on it. So when I get over here, there is a switch, but uh, when I pull that switch, the boulder is going to come down. So I'm going to want to quickly run to the left and go up the stairs. Run. Great. We come over here, there's some flares to pick up. Alright, then we can go back this way. And we should find it. Yeah, this is the door we opened up with the last switch, and that leads us to another switch. 
that we pull. And then, of course, that's going to open the bigger door that's outside. So, then we can come through here. I think we're going to see another tiger when we come out this way. Now, the shotgun is really good, but the bad news is, is that I'm limited on shotgun shells. Like, I got one left, so I may have to adjust to using my pistols. And the pistols kind of suck. Yep, there's another tiger. Sometimes it's best to do backflips. You can jump and roll. You can see they got nice music in this game. It really sounds like you're in India. And the graphics are better, like when Laura fires her guns, you can see steam coming out, like the smoky effects. And in the environment, there's rain coming down. And you see, look, they show like clouds in the sky. There's like environmental effects that you didn't see in Tomb Raiders 1 and 2. So we then come to this open room. There's some light coming in. We come over here and we find some shotgun shells. And then if we look this way, there's, we're going to see another friendly little monkey, but again, I don't have time to play with the monkeys. So I'm going to save again. Alright, so what I want to do now, I could jump up and grab the ledge, but Laura will slide down. So what we'll need to do here is crawl, and crawling is a new feature of Tomb Raider 3, which Tomb Raiders 1 and 2 didn't have which I think is really great. It's really cool to crawl through different things. And then we come this way, there's another health crystal. We don't want... I don't think I need it, but I do need to get my guns out because there is a tiger in this room that comes out. Yep, there he is. So then there's, there's like this fallen tree that I guess we have to tread along. And there's a tree branch off to the left that we can jump to. And over here we're going to find some MP clips, which I think are great. We're not going to get our MP until later, but it's still nice to store up on the ammo. So now I'm going to enter this new area in the temple. There's basically two ways. There's left and right. I'm going to hug the, the left one because this is the correct way. And there's another monkey that s seems to be minding his own business. And you can kill the monkeys if you want to go for kills. But I think that's just not ethical. So we can then... What we can do is walk through the spikes. You cannot run through the spikes, or if you do, Laura will take damage. And if you fall on the spikes, you should get ready for Laura's funeral. So I'm going to go ahead and jump and press action. And there's a small med pack on this ledge that I can grab. And then up here, we can see there's like a ledge that Laura needs to shimmy on. She needs to shimmy to the left, and when we're on the leftmost tile... Tomb Raider 3 is also tile-based, like Tomb Raiders 1 and 2, because it uses the same engine. So, if you understand how the engine works, it makes the gameplay so much easier for you. So then what we can do is grab this next ledge up here, and there is an opening that we come across over here. It's dark, so I'm going to light a flare. And to the right, there's nothing, but to the left, there's a switch, and we got a monkey in front of the switch. Now, there is a boulder that's going to trigger there. So before I hit the switch, I'm going to go ahead and grab the items up here. So we get a rocket, 
and then we can crawl back this way and there's some harpoons now basically Laura has to be facing oh wait she has to grab the harpoons there we got him now in order for Laura to climb out of a crawl space she has to be uh, facing like like with her rear she can't climb out of a crawl space facing forward so we're gonna pull it roll and run there and we made it out And if you guys can see, there is a tiger down there. I'm actually going to shoot him from up above because that'll be easier than if you get down there with him. Let's see, is he going to come back out? Maybe. So, now what I'm going to do is slide down, and if you guys remember the tree, I came along, the tree is hollow, so what I can actually do, I'm going to save the game. Is run and jump, and then she wouldn't grab the ledge above, but she could grab the opening, and then we can crawl into the space. This is our fifth secret. After this, there's one more secret, and then we got all six. So there's a lot more secrets in Tomb Raider 3 than there are in uh, Tomb Raiders 1 and 2. But that's fine. Oh, and in Tomb Raider 3, if you get all the secrets in the game, you get a bonus level called All Hallows. Which, I guess, is pretty cool, but... Uh, getting the secrets in this game is relatively difficult. When she drops down, she lands on a slidable tile. You have to sort of jump back and forth between them, and basically you have to scoo either to the left or to the right until she lands on a walkable tile. Oh, and there is a tiger down here. took care of them. So the switch above opened up this door that led in a tiger when I did that. So there's a new room here, there's lots of trees. It kind of looks like the other tree room that we were in, but it's not. There's a lot more open area. Oh, and there's a boulder there. Laura's pointing at something. Oh yeah, but don't shoot the monkey, even though she might want to. The boulder trap trips as soon as Laura s steps here, but it doesn't get her. So we can now see there's a hole up here. You want to back up, grab the ledge. There is another ledge down below that you can let go and grab on. You want to make sure to press action and grab the ledge, because if you guys can see, there's spikes down below. And I'm not in the mood to attend Laura's funeral, so we don't want to do that. This is our final secret of the level. We get some flares. And actually, let me check the stats real quick. Yep, we got all six. So here there's a health crystal. I'll go ahead and accept this one. And then we get to come back out this way. So we can then... 
So we need to be a little bit more to the right in order for Laura to have enough room to jump. So we would do a forward jump, and we would, I guess, land right there, but that's not where we want to land. We'd, um, we'd want to jump to the tile in front, and we can come back up. I'm going to save because I don't want to do the secrets again. Alright, so I think we got all six secrets. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the next area of the level. Looks like we spawned all three boulders. So we don't need to worry about those anymore. Now we come out here, there's going to be some water. Uh, we go back here, this is not a secret, but there are some pickups that we can get. There's a couple of Uzi clips, it looks like. And in this game especially, you really want to get all the pickups you can, because the enemies are tough in this game. So, now what we want to do is jump to this floating tree, or whatever it is in the middle of the water. And then, what we want to do is stand at the edge of the tile, do a standing jump up, and grab the ledge. If she doesn't grab it the first time, just keep uh, pressing jump in action and she'll get it, as, as long as it's within her jumping height. So now we're going to pull this switch. It's going to open up that door across. So, actually, there is a shortcut. You, you don't have to go that way if you don't want to, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. The shortcut is down here, where Laura can just uh, swim through this little cave and get to the next area. But uh, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go ahead and take the longer route, because I'm doing a walkthrough for you guys. So, um, what I'm going to do is jump to this ledge. Uh, at the edge, you want to make sure Laura's standing at the edge, because this may be a maximum length jump. And when Laura gets there, she can press the action button to get that. I think this next tile, it's not a slidable tile, I thought it was for a second, but no, it's not. So... And then now the door's open, Laura can come and climb out this way and run down this passageway and we're going to end up in the next room. That music is telling you to proceed with caution. So what we want to do is run along this tree. We can look down below. I don't think there's really much to pick up down below. So we'll take the zip line down, and it's going to lead us to this next part of the temple. And we can see there's a crawl space to our right, but then there's a walkway to our left. So we look, we're actually uh, behind the gate of where we were before. But actually, I'm, I'm going to show you guys what's in the crawl space. You come over here, and you don't need to roll, you need to crawl. And you crawl through here, you see there's like another gate. And then there's like a standing space here, so... Laura jumps up. There's not really anything over here, but... Uh, you can get a good glimpse of the room in there with... Uh, the fiery statues. We'll be there in a little bit, but now I'm gonna crawl back through this way. Come out.
So now we can see we're in the room with these pillars and a waterfall. And what we'll need to do, at least for now, is jump here. The water is very low right now, but I believe there is a switch to make it higher. Oh, and there's a tiger right there, but he can't hurt you when you're on the pillar. There's two tigers, but what difference does it make if you're in a place where they can't get you? Okay, so... Now we can check this. I think that ledge is too high for Laura to jump. Yep, it is. So I believe what I can do is do a running jump and grab that ledge of the waterfall. This, despite the water having a pretty fast flow, it doesn't knock Laura off. So from the waterfall ledge, she can jump to this next ledge. And then there's another room that Laura can jump into. Now, it is a little dark, but I don't think there's a need for a flare in this one. And see, this leads her to the room with the uh, fiery statues. We looked through that gate just uh, a few minutes ago. Yeah, see, that's where we were. So basically the music cuts off in this game when you go underwater. In Tomb Raider 1 the music would play regardless, but in this game, uh, like you can see, the music gets gradually louder as you get closer to the surface. So then we can come out this way. We go behind here. Uh, there's not a switch, but there is a movable block if you look at the tile. The it's a little discolored from the others, so we can pull that out. Oh yeah, there's enough room, we can pull it another space. And the block alone opened up another door, but if we want to look behind the block, we can see there is a little hidden area here. There's not really anything here, but there's a tile that you can look down under. So this is the door that we opened up. When we come in here, we can light a flare if we want to see what's over here. There's nothing. But there is a switch here that we want to pull, and once we pull the switch, well, it's going to open up an underwater hatch. So the water, uh, the underwater hatch should be somewhere around here. I think I messed up a little bit. So we can go back here. 
Oh yeah, this is the hatch that we opened up. Ah. Oh. So I can tell, I think that's a movable block. And if we look around here. Oh, I think that door must be timed. But there's a switch, two switches actually, that we can pull. And then we pull this switch. So, that switch opened up that door to get to the room that we were in before. And the door it opened up, I believe, was this one over here. So we want to race through it. Because I, I think it'll close if you're not quick enough. And I'm going to pull this switch. And it looks like we raised the water level. So that's going to make a difference to us back in that previous outdoor room or area, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to leave the fire pillar room. So this ledge is too high for Laura to come up and grab, but this way uh, there is a ledge. We weren't able to get up here before, but now we can due to the water. So we can come into this little tunnel or whatever it is. Uh, there is a ladder over here that Laura can grab a hold of and climb her way up. Climbing up the ladders is probably the thing that slows you down the most. But luckily, this one seems to be a short ladder, so it's not going to slow us down too much. In Tomb Raider 2's level uh, diving area, there was a ladder she climbed up, it was, and it took a long time. It might have been two minutes almost to do the climb up that ladder. So Laura can turn. There's a ledge there. In case you're wondering, that ledge is too high for Laura to jump, so we're going to need to turn around and come to this ledge. Uh, there is a current here, but it's not going to push Laura off. So we can then come in this little tunnel. There's a switch. So then what we can do is jump to this ledge over here. And then there's a ledge down below that you can go to. And that sucked up a lot of health, but luckily there's a health crystal nearby. go ahead and grab that. The health crystals in this game are great. They're about the equivalent of a small med pack. So now that we've pulled that switch, I believe we can go back to where we were before. Oh, actually, we can swim under here. Perfect. And there's, a, like, a new tunnel down here. We opened up that door with the last switch. So, Laura's gonna swim through here. She's gonna come out right here. Oh, and pull out your guns, because there is a tiger. And you're not safe from that tiger if you're in, in the shallow water. Because basically... It, oh yeah, we can see there's a blood effect. 
Like, once the tiger's dead, its, its blood will contaminate the water. Which is a really great special effect they have. So, this area is dark. We can light a flare if you guys want to see what's over here. There are some MP clips. And there's some shotgun shells over here. There's a key we need to acquire. It's actually that same key that I showed you guys on the shortcut. But, of course, like, I'm taking the long way now. Oh, I guess we need to get it from the other side. The effects in this game are messed up because it's like they show uh, the front of the ladder being on the other side if you look at the bars, but this is the correct way to climb it. So the key is like right at the top of the ladder. We want to get it before the monkey does. Sorry, monkey, you don't get to have my key. Maybe I could give you a set of toy keys sometime, but you can't have my actual key that I need to complete the level. And it's a good thing I took the key from him, because uh, if he got the key, I would have to kill the monkey. There is a tiger. It's best you kill him from up here, because uh, if you go down there, you're, you've got limited space, and being in a close, uh, close capacity with the enemies is uh, part of what causes you to die easier. So this is going to be where we use our Indra key, and we're going to open up the gate. And when we jump through it, that should be the end of the level. Here's the cutscene. Hello? Hello? What? What do you want from me now? Nothing that taxing. Are you alright? Well, if you'd all stop, I might be just fine. Just a hundred percent. Just go! Yeah, this guy's crazy. You don't stop. Who are you talking about? All you, hundreds of you, talking and chattering and breaking my brain up. Hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure where you're coming from. But I just want to know about the Infada artifact. In the temple up there. <laughs> voodoo magic and all, huh? I don't touch this stuff myself. It's not voodoo. Look, is there anyone else here with you? Yeah, Randy and Rory. <laughs> Randy and Rory? Where? What are you all doing here? Well, they're staying put in that temple. I told them not to. I warned them first. Not doing much now, I doubt, under half a ton of mudslide. Me. I'm leaving. Next bus out. This jungle is rooted enough rot into me. I'd offer the same advice to you, but you don't seem like the type to take it. To care if I said you're gonna die, man. <laughs> yeah. Die. This guy seems a little crazy. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I got all six secrets, nine kills, and it took me 38 minutes. This level is, um... This level is actually pretty long for a first level in the game, because in the first two games, level one was very short, but this level jungle actually takes a while to get through, at least if you want to do the complete run with all the secrets. So, thank you so much. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. Stay tuned till next time. Thank you.